Yo, what's going on, YouTube fans? It's your guy Rez, and I am back again with y'all on my channel for another dope video yet again. Welcome. So, in today's video, guys, I wanted to start a discussion and kind of go over something that I noticed with some of my Air Jordans. So, if you're into sneakers and Air Jordans like myself, this video will definitely uh, pertain to you, especially if you're into like Jordan 1s or just have like leather Jordan sneakers, man. So, uh, these are all recent releases in front of me, these are the most up to date releases of these sneakers if i'm not mistaken but you know as you could see i have two pairs of air jordan ones and a pair of black cement air jordan threes so i've begun to notice that some of my air jordans that are dead stock have this weird residue and glitter effect man and it's really weird i was very cautious and concerned at first because i thought that you know my sneakers had some mold growing in them and i was like how could this be you know i've never wore these sneakers i've kept them in good room temperature you know so like i really couldn't figure out what was going on but then you know as i looked closer i noticed that this was coming from the shoe box it looked like so you know i took them out of the shoe box and i put them in these plastic container drop fronts uh which you will see here side by side uh which is how i display a majority of my sneakers but you know i also began to notice that they still had that glitter effect so i was really trying to figure this out and figure out how I could remove this without damaging the shoe. So I asked a couple of my sneakerhead friends and people who are into like shoes like myself, and they were able to direct me to a product that I will share in this video shortly. Um, and it is a very good product from what I've seen and read. And you know, it's the go to when removing this type of problem. So, you know, uh, this is something I think you guys will encounter if you have Air Jordan ones, especially the latest releases and also like other leather sneakers from air jordan brand so in just a few moments i'm going to show you in closer detail what the glitter did to my shoes and how they look now and then i'm going to show you the product and i'm also going to show you the aftermath of what the product did for my sneakers so sit back relax guys and enjoy also if you're new to the channel please consider hitting that like button as well subscribing to the channel and ring the bell notification that way you don't miss anything i post on my channel all right, so I'm going to grab my Air Jordan 1 Royals and just show you. These are dead stock, guys. I have not wore these yet. And just looking at it, as you can see, there's like that really bad like pixie dust. The shoe is brand new, never tried on, never worn. And I was going to wear them, and then I noticed this. It's just really bad and ugly looking, and I was very concerned. I thought that my sneakers had mold in the beginning, and I was really heartbroken when I saw this. But then, you know, just looking around, just look at that like glitter effect just surrounding the entire shoe. It just does not look good. You know, I've noticed it's also on the back, on the heel portion just slightly, but mainly on the sides of this shoe where it's just really ugly looking. And, you know, looking at the other pair, the left pair, you could also see that the residue is on that shoe as well. So it's not as bad as on the other shoe, but it's just, it's everywhere. And I was really confused on what happened. So let's look at the black cements here. This pair is actually worn. I wear this pretty regularly, uh, but I also noticed that it did have that glitter effect. And the glitter is kind of got like this really like grainy feel to it. You know, it, it does feel like it's on your hands when you rub your hands against it. So some it's like an invisible type of residue when it's on your hand. But, you know, um, it's definitely there. You could see it on your shoes. And let me show you the pair or the the shoe of the bread lows and you can see it's just right there just really ugly this is also a dead stock pair and i don't understand what this glitter is where it's coming from um but as you can see it's right there I, i'm assuming it's from the box the box that you buy the shoe from um but you know this is something that i've noticed that happened with newer jordans so as you can see again on the black cement it's on the toe box it's really bad not so much on the left pair but it's definitely surrounding the right pair and it's just all around over the boats of my sneakers so so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you guys this product here which is called the angulus uh mink oil genuine mink oil and this is a water protector or waterproofing and conditioner protective coating for use on leather suede nubuck uh vinyl and plastic looks like so the directions are pretty simple guys from what i've heard all you need to really do is just spray the leather the area 
that you're trying to put the coat on and basically uh, just wait five minutes and then rub the shoe and it should remove the the glitter all over your sneakers so be careful uh by the way guys this is very flammable uh from what the you know can says so don't put it anywhere uh where room temperature is above 120 degrees and you don't want to puncture it and stuff because this could definitely <laughs> cause some fire if not handled properly but this product is highly recommended for uh you know protecting your leather sneakers and getting rid of this glitter residue from what i've been told so just a couple of things before we begin that you need you're going to need your sneakers obviously or sneaker whatever you plan on cleaning your mink oil and like a cloth which i have right here this one guys is just a basic cloth but um, i've been told that you know it's highly recommended that you use like a really soft microfiber cloth to prevent any like scratching on the leather but uh, i think it'll be fine honestly for this first session here but looking at the shoes why don't we start off with the royal ones before we begin just taking one last look at it my gosh i don't know what happened this is a brand new pair of sneakers guys so obviously the uh the glitter is real guys so why don't we go ahead and spray the leather with the mink oil as you can see right there just spraying around kind of all around the areas with that glitter effect um, i've noticed that it's only on the black portion of the shoes and not like on the colored portion uh, of the leather um i don't know if you guys have that as well but i've noticed that on on most of my jordans um they're on the black leather so as you can see sprayed it a little bit um and the directions recommends that you let the shoe sit uh, for five minutes or so before you start wiping it down so uh, why don't we just wait for a few moments and then i'll show you uh the aftermath of this like the before and after pics all right guys so i let it sit for about five minutes or so so we're gonna start by wiping it off and let's see how good this product really is so just kind of gently scrubbing it around the leather trying to get to the black portions and just kind of wiping around the blue area as well so um, the leather feels really soft as you guys uh, if you guys don't know like the newer air jordan one leather that they use is more of like a plush uh leather rather than like the older like 2013 pairs uh they're a little more stiff and the leather is a little more like a uh, synthetic um it's almost like a like a plasticky leather but this uh these newer air jordan ones man the leather is just really soft and it feels much more authentic in my opinion but you know they do have that glitter uh, surrounding them so as you can see i'm just kind of wiping off the affected areas here of where i sprayed uh, the mink oil and it seems to be working guys which is a good sign the leather or the glitter is just really coming off really easily and uh the shoe looks amazing it's like almost like the leather has been like pretty much like revitalized you know it feels like it's 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 not as uh, dry and stiff as it was prior to me putting uh, the mink oil on this. So it looks really nice, guys. Definitely uh, the glitter is gone. I don't see it anymore, which is a great sign. And the leather just looks, it just looks like it came fresh out the box without the glitter now. So I'm pretty happy, guys. So why don't we go ahead and try the other two pairs that we have here. Also forgot to mention, shake the can before you spray, obviously, which is pretty much common etiquette 101 with cans but now i'm spraying the jordan one low top breads here spraying the black areas of the shoe as you can see kind of letting it sit a little bit and uh, we're gonna spray around the affected areas of that glitter on both sides of the shoe here look at that glitter it's just really nasty and it's not a good look, man, in my opinion. I, unless you guys really like that. I, I personally don't like it. But, yeah, we sprayed that down. And uh, we're going to wait a couple more minutes again. And we'll show you what it looks like afterwards. All right, guys. So here is a picture of the aftermath of me scrubbing it down after I sprayed the mink oil. So look at that, guys. The leather looks really nice now without that glitter. As you can see, this Jordan 1 Low now looks brand new. How it originally did when I bought it and I took it straight out the box. So uh, there's obviously a huge difference here, guys, compared to what it was with that glitter, you know, side by side here. It was just not a good look. It looked really nasty looking, man. And, uh, you know, now it's gone and the leather looks beautiful, man. 
So I am very satisfied and convinced that this product is good to go. All right, and looking at the black cement threes here on the left is before I sprayed the mink oil with the glitter and on the right, as you can see, the glitter is gone after I sprayed it down with the mink oil and wiped the shoe. So huge difference, guys. There's definitely uh, a huge difference when noticing, you know, the effects of the glitter and then it being removed after the mink oil spray. So I'm definitely happy, man, and I'm glad that this product worked out. Overall, my final thoughts on this Angelus brand mink oil, it did exactly what I was looking for in a product, man. I was looking for something safe, something effective for my leather sneakers here, and this did exactly the trick. So if you're looking to get a can for yourself, you can actually get this on Amazon.com and just search, you know, Angelus mink oil, and you could find it for a couple of bucks. I got this for like under $10, if I'm not mistaken. So I give this two thumbs up. I definitely recommend getting a can for yourself as well and yeah buy the product guys so that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for me guys please share your thoughts in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think about this product did you use it if not are you planning on getting it now that you've seen this video you know so i definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts so i give this two thumbs up and your boy rez will see y'all later peace